to attain that kind of high that you want to give them on that day? Yes. Uh, for the past months, kasi, I've been very... Uh, uh, kung baga nagre-research talaga ako, pumupunta ako sa mga concerts, pumupunta ako sa mga shows, tinitignan ko kung ano yung pulso ng, ng audience, kung ano gusto nilang pakinggan. And I noticed that, of course, aside from the fact na gusto talaga ng Pinoy audience yung uh, yung mamamatay ka na sa period, di ba? Yun yung enjoy na enjoy sila. So, <laughs> di ba? Parang kung nakita na nila yung lipid mo na puputok na, yun yung gusto nila. So, syempre, bibigay natin yun. Uh, but more more than that, I discovered that people just want to uh, to relate to the performer. Ayaw na nila ngayon na yung buhulang sila at panunood lang. It has to be, a, there has to be interaction, there has to be a personal relationship with the audience. Kaya, nung nag-ano kami ng line-up ng, uh, ng production, um, we made it, we, we see to it talaga na hindi ma-alienate yung tao. Kailangan talagang makasama sila sa performance na yun. So, we, we came up with, with a, a lot of strategies and gimmicks na, na ma-feel nila that they are part of every production number. So, yun. Um, todo research talaga. Todo research. And like ako, if I were uh, one of the people sa audience, ano pa gusto kong panuorin na mag enjoy ako, ma impress ako, at I will stay until the end and I will be sitting there wanting for more. So yun, lahat na, lahat nilista ko lahat yun uh, on my own personal choice, di ba? Ano mga gusto ko. So, uh, when we did the production meetings, talagang pinasok namin lahat ng na, na, na research ko. And hopefully, hopefully, mag-work naman sa, sa, sa concert na to. Actually, Ian, I am a living witness kung paano pinagkagunan si Ian sa concert ni Shane Tyler. He's batting from Tyler. Yes, right. Like, like, grabe. And napangangan yun si Shane. Nag-duwen sila na flying without me. Yeah. It's <laughs> grabe. Ian? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Then <laughs> sabi mo you will involve the audience, yes. no? So I suppose you mean to say that the repertoire mo would include mostly popular songs. Yes, right? yes. So ayun kasi yung napansin ko, there there were some shows that I I attended na pinanood ko. There were songs na uh, biglang na 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 alienate yung audience kasi parang ano kanta yan? Diba? Kasi minsan may mga artists na, na they, they sing songs kasi gusto lang nila, favorite nila. To the point na wala namang connection pala sa, sa concert or walang connection sa tao or sa buhay niya. Uh, at the very moment lang siguro favorite niya yung kanta ngayon. So, I don't think it's the best place to sing those songs. It's more of you have to to involve the people. Kasi they paid money to listen to you sing and, and be entertained. And if you sing, most of your songs would be songs na hindi nila alam or hindi nila, hindi sila makakarelate. Um, they might lose attention or sa phones nila, mag-text or what. So, um, kailangan talaga nakakarelate lahat. But if ever na may mga kanta kami na hindi nila alam, we also made, it, made sure na maiintindihan nila kung bakit yung kantaan doon at kung maa-appreciate nila yung kanta nila. Jen, being the business, Fifth year mo to na concert. What triggered that, you know, that realization na kailangan i-involve mo yung audience mo sa, sa concert mo, sa performance mo? Was um, there an experience in the past na parang na-indinate mo yung audience? Hindi naman po. Um, ano lang kasi, napansin ko kasi, uh, people have this image of me uh, based on what they see lang sa TV. Na Jed Madera laging nakasuot, laging seryoso, laging militero. But then, sa small shows ko, like in corporate shows, I get to show another side of me, another side of Jed Madela, na hindi lang bilitero, hindi lang ano, but I, I, I interact with the people, I make them sing, I, I dance with them, I perform with all of them, na hindi ko nagagawa on TV kasi we are given like just a little amount of time. So, yun ang naging trigger ko, since this is going to be a big concert, I want this entire Coliseum to see na hindi lang ako, I'm more than just the Piritero that they see on TV. Na yung seryosong laging nakasuot, yeah. laging uh, formal-formalan ng lagi, gano'n. So, uh, this is going to be uh, a reflection of my real personality talaga, which is not just serious. I can be serious, but there's more than that. Gano'n. Last question, eh. Since it's your 15th anniversary, how high pa 
ang pangarap ni Jet sa showbiz. Ah, you know what? I am just so blessed na umabot na ako ng 15 years. Um, if given the chance to ha have another 5 or 10 or 15 more years, I would happy, happily accept it. Pero ako naman, I, I go along as, as how you know the industry would accept me. Um, so, umabot ako ng 15 years, so perhaps I've been doing something good. I've, I've been doing something right, and people still accept me. And uh, tuli lang ako naman as long as there are people who continue to support me, as long as there are people who continue to, to listen to my my voice and my songs. Tuli tuli pa rin naman ako perform. Okay, thank, thank you. you yeah. By the way, our hashtag for today is hashtag Higher Than High Media Day. We like to acknowledge then the presence of our beloved director, Marvin, Marvin Caldito. Direct? Yeah, yeah. Direct Marvin. Si direct. Hi, Hi, Direct. Hi, si Direct. Po. Hello, direct Marvin. Good afternoon, Direct. And, um, our next question will come from the entertainment editor of the Manila Bulletin. At napakita niya rin ang kanyang other side. At ito ay... Yes. Wow. Former recording artist and now songwriter Sahimi Ganda. Well, I'm going to see Jojo. Yes! Um, Sample. I know that I'm going to ask you to ask me if you have a new opportunity in the relationship with your public. And you answered it so eloquently. You really think yung bawat hakbang mo, yung bawat ginagawa mo. And that's rare dito sa Pilipinas, sa mga artists natin. Ngayon, ikaw ba tingin mo, necessary uh, dito sa atin na magkaiba yung persona na mo bilang recording artist at persona mo bilang uh, concert artist? Mm -hmm. Kaya ako natanong yun kasi di ba meron tayong parang bawa si Lea Salonga. Kilala siya for her Broadway songs. She's applauded for that. Pero pag maglaba siya ng kanta na tulog Broadway song, hindi yan tatang kinikin. It's still good for pop. Ikaw ba may ganun pang realization? Um, ako kasi, what you hear on an album, I know, I know, syempre, pag, pag gumagawa tayo ng albums, the, the label also has to think of, of the business side of it. Yung napapatok at uh, um, bebenta, di ba? But uh, I am just... Ano, siguro blessed na nung nagsisimula pa lang ako hanggang ngayon, yun na yung format talaga na binibigay sa akin. Yung pop. Pop and a little bit of, naririnig nyo naman siguro sa mga, sa mga songs ko na there's a little hint of classical training na lumalabas sa pagkanta ko. So, um, what you hear on an album uh, is the same as when I do uh, live concert. Uh, para hindi hindi nalilito yung mga tao. Parang ano ba talaga ang sound ni Jed Molera? So it's consistent. Whatever you hear sa albums, it's the same thing you hear sa live, concerts, sa corporate events. Yun lang, yun yun talaga. Kaya consistent, consistent talaga. Pero itong huli yung kilanta mo, yung superhero. Yes. Na siya, no? uh, medyo iba siya kasi um, for the longest time, uh, you've been putting out ballads or cover versions. Ito ni wala tong Virgil as we have Jet can do. Yun nga kanina, di ba, kinanta ko yung dalawang singles ko. Totong, ano, opposites talaga, yung di matitinag. Yun talaga yung Jet Madela na alam ng tao na Virgil, malaki, uh, yung pasabot yung dulo, gano'n. And then, when I sang Super Hero, extreme naman siya, bumaba siya. But, what makes it coherent to each other is Yung talagang pinaka-goal ko is the, the inspiration behind the songs that I sing. Na hindi matitinag, it's going to encourage the striving artist to keep dreaming. And yung superhero naman, it's the same thing. It's going to encourage you to, to believe in yourself. Diba? So, ayun yung coherent factor nila. Yun lang, iba lang yung pagkakaroon ko. Kasi this time, gusto ko din uh, i-address yung hinihingi ng mga ng mga nakikinig na pwede bang ano, kumanta si Jed ng pwede namin kantahin? Ganun, kasi most of my songs hindi nakakanta daw. So most of my songs, pinakikinggan lang. Uh, so this time, I, I, I gave, gave away, to, I gave, gave in to whatever they requested. Actually, itong superhero, ang dami pang bilit dapat daw. Pinatanggal ko lahat. Sabi ko, ibaba natin lahat. So it's gonna be like uh, singing friendly para makanta na lahat. Yung last question ko, uh, at 15 years in the business, naan ka bang moment when you talk to yourself and say, if I had known then what I know now, I would not 
plan. Um, alam mo, honestly, no regrets. No regrets talaga kasi the things that I've gone through for the past 15 years siguro have made me who I am today. Kung, kung may mga bagay-bagay na hindi ko nagawa dati, yung mga pagkakamali dati siguro na hindi ko nagawa, I wouldn't have become the person I am today siguro kasi I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot. Kasi ako, totoong tao, I mean, whatever I say, whatever I do, it's it's there all the time. Kaya minsan napapatrobo lang ako sa, sa social media kasi whatever I think, I post. Tapos bigla na lang may mga misunderstand yung iba, magagalit, tapos sasabihin nila, si Jen mo nila lang daming talak sa buhay. And then, parang, I, I'm very upfront. Kung anong nakikita nyo at anong nababasa nyo lagi sa social media ko, ako yun. And that's the same thing with the concert. Whatever you're going to see sa concert, it's going to be a person, my, my personality talaga. Yun ang makikita ninyo. Kasi that's, that's, I think you owe that to your audience. I don't believe in, in putting up an image. I don't believe in putting up a front para lang ma-entertain yung mga tao. Um, you yourself can be entertainment enough para sa kanila. But are, but are there things you wish you had done more? Knowing that people will love you anyway. Siguro ano, I, 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 I wish I, I would have started earlier. Um, kasi I started late na, late 20s na kanang simula sa showbiz. Um, siguro I could have uh, achieved a lot more uh, at, at an earlier time. But uh, despite of all the things that has happened, uh, okay pa din ako. I'm, I'm good. I'm good with, with the pace of my career. I reached 15 years. I've seen a lot of artists come and go. Uh, Iilan nila kami natira and uh, I am, I'm just uh, grateful. Grateful talaga na dito pa ako after 15 years. Thank you. Ang dal-dal ko, no? Sorry po. Thank you.